no such thing as work-life balance. None! Learn to be super successful. Subscribe to my channel, Meathead. You buy a deal for a million and you overfinance it in, uh, a million too. So you got $200,000 or pounds or euros extra, right? And they went, for, uh, how do we divide it up, Mr. Pena? <laughs> Meaning, how do, they, how do you take it out for you? Now, this is, this is just a rule of thumb. There's nothing in concrete about this. So you take the 200 and you take... Uh, leave 50 grand for working capital. You take 150 and you split it amongst, the, this is after uh, the, uh, you pay your expenses for your, your uh, professional, let's say that's 50K, and there's 100K left for you. The you and the deal would take half of it or a third of it to a half, and then you'd split a half to two thirds to, to the rest of the board members. And the board members don't get it pro rata based on their ownership of shares because they may only own 2%, 4%, 5%. They get it pro rata based on how much fucking work they did. Because you're gonna have one or two worker bees that do all the heavy lifting. And they may only have 2% and 4% respectively. So you don't give everybody, and your chairman may have 10% and he didn't do hardly any work. So you, let's say you give, you know, 30% uh, uh, of the uh, extra money to the guy, the two guys that did the heavy lifting and then you split up the rest five, ten percent each. But it's not paid pro rata to the ownership. It's, it's paid based on the workload that they carry. And it'll be easy to differentiate who's doing the work. I mean, that's easy. And in the first deal, your guys, your board members aren't responding to you. Well, they may either not be around for the second deal or you give everybody, you know, 25 grand and you give them two grand. That sends the message. Why did I only get two grand? Because you didn't do a goddamn thing. You're lucky I didn't throw you off the fucking board. Or you give them nothing. I don't like that. I've always given them something. But some of the guys that I've been in business with give them nothing. You did fuck all, you get fuck all. Now that sends it, but then they normally resign. That's fine. Now, when they get nothing and you're splitting up, let's say, an overfinance of a million, two million, five million, and they get nothing, now, th that hurts them. I mean, that's like a dagger in their fucking heart. You know, and uh, you may get a crybaby email, oh, I'm so sorry, uh, but uh, money talks and bullshit walks.